Jennifer Amix is eight years old. She holds more than 55 world records in her age group, all the way from the mile to the marathon. Jennifer runs with her brother, David, and her father, Dr. Herb Amix. Running has become the center of family life for the Amixes. But for Jennifer, it wasn't always that way. Jennifer was four and a half. And whenever we suggested climbing up the hill of the park, she would start to cry and, and want to be held. She always wanted me to carry her. One year later, she finished a marathon with no trouble. Now I like to um, beat my best time in the marathon this year. And I also like to maybe run a 50-miler. The Amix family began training for Johnstown by running five miles a day. But as early as two months before the race, the family had built up to more than 110 miles a week. Well, I guess in a sense they are guinea pigs. Medically, scientifically, you would have to say that there is not enough data to know what the long-term effects of high distance running in small children are. If I didn't go along, I'd be worried the whole time. You want to be there if someone has a problem to pick that person up so the other two can finish. There never has been a problem like that, but you always wonder, you know, if there will be. David is a peculiar child. He doesn't always look at things the same way other kids do. Just recently, he told us that really all he wanted to do was just to finish with us in a race, and a lot of times that's been the only goal he's had this year. He's moved into a really top-class national runner of I mean, his age group, where he's won the Junior Olympic Mile Championship. During school, the run is almost a catharsis for him. He may have a bad day at school, and he comes home very tense, and he's upset and angry, and he's just like a high-voltage wire. And as we begin to run, it begins to come out. At the end of the evening run, he's a different child than he was when he came home from school. Because they have been able to achieve at an early age, they have a feeling of self-worth, and they feel good about themselves. 